Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue today. We are doing a copycat of a very iconic hamburger out of Dallas, Texas. The number five special out of Keller's Burgers. It's a double patty cheeseburger. Let's get going. So Keller's Burgers and Beers out of Dallas is one of those bucket list locations for a burger enthusiast. In fact, uh, George Motes, who's like kind of the god of burger history, he refers to Keller's as a primary source burger. And that's the perfect description. About, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago, I had the privilege of eating there with my friend Justin of Baby Back Maniac and his wife and kids. So that was like the highlight of my trip. I mean, it was just awesome. And we got the number five special, which again, it's an iconic burger. And I Here we are at Keller's. This is definitely OG Dallas. What do you think so far? What are your first impressions? So far, this is uh, what I consider Americana when it comes to hamburgers. So I'm excited about this. This is an American classic, obviously. Yeah. So I'm expecting a lot of grease. Yeah, definitely. Uh, some melted American cheese. Definitely. And soft uh, white buns, but with a nice grease covering on the outer <laughs> on the outer uh, crust. <laughs> and they only take cash. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, I, found, I found that out. <laughs> So one of the things I asked the car hop was what they season the burger with. You know, I was guessing, you know, the typical salt, pepper, whatever. She said they do not season the patties at all, um, which isn't that surprising because one thing I've discovered, again, through this journey of doing copycats is there are a lot more restaurants than you would think that don't season their patties, including Five Guys, by the way. She said what they do do is uh, they clean the griddle every day, every morning with pickle juice. Um, so I'm thinking, well, Justin and I were talking about this. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, a lot of these restaurants, you know, they're trying to get bang for the buck, especially these places have been open for decades. So they're using pickles in their, you know, restaurant. They end up with a bunch of pickle juice. So why not use it to clean the griddle? And think about it, there's a lot of barbecue joints that spritz their briskets, you know, and ribs and everything with pickle juice. So again, I think it's just more of an economics kind of a thing. But what I did um, today, this morning, before I fired this thing up, was I gave it a good wipe down with pickle juice, just again, to kind of keep it legit. Um, but one thing I would suggest to Blackstone or griddle owners, I wouldn't make a habit of doing this. Um, it, vinegar's corrosive. So I'm definitely going to re-season this uh, after today's cook. Now really the only condiment on this burger is a sauce. It's, it's basically a salad dressing, like a Thousand Island. So we're gonna make a quick Thousand Island dressing. Start off with some mayo. Some ketchup. Sweet pickle relish. Now here I have some white vinegar that I've rehydrated, some dehydrated onions in. granulated sugar, a little yellow mustard, a little salt and black pepper. Get this all whipped up. And there we go. So the buns that they use at Keller's, they're just like a typical hamburger bun, with the exception they're seeded with poppy seeds, which is very unique. You know, you see hoagie rolls seasoned with uh, poppy seed buns, but very rarely hamburger buns. The only time I've seen them is when I've had them made. So um, they have their rolls baked by a company in you know, outside of Dallas called Signature Bakery. Um, I can't find them anywhere, so I came up with a solution, literally a solution. What I have here, it's a one-to-one -one mixture of egg white and water. And what I did was I took the buns and I just misted them top and bottom with this mixture. And I took some poppy seeds and sprinkled them on pretty heavily. The buns at Keller's are very heavily seeded, like, like that, you know, even a little bit more than that. The next thing I did was I popped them in a toaster oven set for, it was on bake mode for 350 degrees, literally a minute, a minute and a half, and I was able to set those poppy seeds on there just like the originals. So pretty happy with that. Now we'll build those hamburger patties. So 
I always use these rings because I like, <laughs> I like things being nice and perfectly circle, with the exception. I mean, some hamburgers are more rustic and, you know, smash burgers and everything. Uh, I buy these. They're like biscuit cutters or cookie cutters or something. I get them in the bakery section of my local craft store. So, and the cool thing is, is they have different sizes, and I usually gauge this on the size of the bun. These pieces of paper here, these are burger parchments. I buy these online. I'll have a link down below. So the burger patties there are pretty thin. I was guessing probably about three and a half ounces, and they're very lean. Um, the waitress was telling us they use a very lean meat to prevent you know, the, the excessive shrinkage. So again, it's all about make, getting the best bang for the buck, because they're selling some pretty inexpensive burgers here, and they haven't changed in decades. So I have here 93.7. So it's 93% lean, and this is three and a half ounces that I put in my ring here. I'm just going to press it in, but I'm not going to press it in like ridiculously hard. I just want to get that shape. I'm not overly mashing it. Move that ring. I always like to kind of tame these edges here a little bit because they kind of crawl up the edge of that ring. Here's my first patty. Number two. Right, I'm going to wash my hands really fast. Okay, I have my griddle running at medium heat. They're, it, they're not using a crazy searing heat at Keller's. And I think this is common. One thing I've noticed from doing all these copycats and actually sitting in there watching these people cook is these burger joints that are putting out a lot of volume, like a lot of burgers, a lot of them are running their flat tops uh, at a lower temperature. And I think it's all about time management. You know, it's, it's easier to manage a crap load of hamburgers on a flat top at a lower heat than it is you know, frantically flipping them, you know, because they're cooking so quickly. So they're actually controlling the timing, which is smart. So first thing I'm gonna do is toast these buns. And these are one of the, you know, that buns that I baked already in the oven. So those seeds are pretty well set. And again, I'm just looking for a nice toast. And we'll get those burger patties down. So one thing I noticed that the cooks do there is they, this is common in a lot of these restaurants. They'll take their spatula, just pop it in the center, and that'll kind of help with the cupping. Nice toast. Of course, a slice of American cheese. Right on that bottom bun, I'm gonna put on some of that Thousand Island that we made. Put down some shredded iceberg lettuce. This patty, we're laying a nice slice of tomato. We'll hit that with some salt and some pepper. So think about this as the day's going through, the, the griddle's not only getting anointed with all this burger fat, but salt and pepper. And crown this beauty. And there we are, the number five special from Keller's Burgers, cold beer out of Dallas, Texas. Americana right there. Let's give this thing a try. Again, I say this is Americana right here. A nice soft white bun, just simple dressings. Juice running down my arm. Flavors were there, textures were there. Um, after it's been kind of rolled up in a uh, you know paper wrapper and handed to you, it's been kind of anointed all over the place with the grease. So, so let's take a moment here. So, now uh, one thing I think is very cool is it's a poppy seed bun, very unique, and it's a lot of poppy seeds. Right. So don't take any drug tests. <laughs> opiates. That's kind of the iconic thing about these burgers, those poppy seeds. Yeah, that's cool. A big old slice of tomato. That's two beef patties, right? It should be. Two beef patties. This is the number five. Shredded lettuce. I'm, I'm <laughs> curious what you think. Cheers. I think I need a napkin. <laughs> Here's him. Thank you. 
So right off the bat, you get that crunch of the toasted bun, which is magic in my opinion. I love that. It's good. This is just a good old fashioned burger. And then hopefully this place will be around forever. I hope so. I mean, it looks like it's already been around forever. <laughs> <laughs> The bun wasn't as greasy, but the flavor was there. It, it, that, this is good. I'm very happy with this, uh, this copycat. Um, I'm having a lot of fun cooking on this Blackstone. Any suggestions for cooks, let me know, please, down in the comments below. If you haven't subbed, please do. Um, if you haven't hit the notification bell, please hit it. Thumb it up if you like it. Thumb it down if you don't. See you in the next video. Cheers.